Go get him. Why are you standing here? I don't know. I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... Did you not see him? Where? Him? The red man. He was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... I... don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay. Just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. Hey, You're Gus stupid. Hello. I'm happy to play this. <laughs> I love this too. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No. Because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. <laughs> what about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm. I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Okay. So, secret entrance? Maybe? Uh, hold on. Looks like a garage door. Probably is one. Probably. I bet it's a recipe. You goofball. <laughs> what? Does it say, back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. No, okay, no. thank you. Ugh. No, no. Looting first. Hold on. I am not touching that. End of discussion. Okay, that is not a voodoo skull. But okay. Okay. Seems like no one cleans windows in Paper City anymore. But then again, what's the point, really? Strange wall thingies. Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. Either way, that has no place on a wall. Well, you know. Why did I not think of that sooner? A piece of lumber will crack this case. Brilliant. <clears throat> wow, Ted. Such sarcasm. <laughs> Seems like someone dropped his chalk. Okay, we have it. It's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times. Why, Ted? Why? We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. <laughs> hey, Shabtai! Didn't say a, I didn't say hello to you yet. Okay. We are not going to look for lamps again if... Okay. Um... It has funny signs on it, Ted. How do you think it works? I don't, because it doesn't. Can we have the altar? I know, you know, there must be a reason. Couldn't be clearer. Oh, what? Oh, okay, okay. Fire? Fire, maybe? Like it matters. Do we have fire? Do we have some... We have oil. Okay. Air? I bet this is air. As I live and breathe. This has to be water. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines on a plate. I think this stands for Earth. Earth. Sure. <laughs> this is the fifth element. Aw, oh, it's a heart. A broken one. Frowny face. Let's not turn this into a high school drama. 
Okay, is there anything else I can click on? Or. And now we just have to get the stones out of an opera singer and we're all good, right? Hmm, nothing magical happens. Uh, this is air. Water, air. There we go. This would actually make sense if I was a lunatic, but let's play ball for now. We're summoning Captain Planet? <gasps> Can we? Oh, it's been ages. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Uh, something. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, me neither. I completely agree. This is water, then. <laughs> oh my god, it is. <laughs> Big All right, judging by that sound design cue, I'd say it fits. Uh, hold on. What else? We have fire and earth. Uh, oil comes from the earth. That would be fun, but no. Eh, it was worth a try. Um, well, we probably are missing some stuff. The chalk? I tried the chalk. It doesn't want to. I don't want to waste. She doesn't want to waste it. And this is fire. So this oil is then, maybe? That would be fun, but no. No. I don't know what this Throwing is. this away is about the only useful purpose that I can think of. <laughs> oh, wait. Can we? Throwing this away is about the only useful purpose. Okay. That would be fun, but no. Okay. Well, we probably need some more stuff. So we got we got two. That's good. Um. Hmm. Oh, no, we don't have to do that. We can do this. We can do this. Mayor's Mansion and the Steel Mill. Oh, here we go. This is pretty. To Traveler, drown me in water, touch me with fire, bring me the mountains and the skies above, and for the last of these things that you have to bring is the sign of ill-fated and forever lost love. Only then you may enter into Goddess's lair. Only then you can witness her everlasting glare. She can teach you all about the fickleness of life that starts with the embrace and ends with a knife. Oh, interesting. Oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. It's like a poem of death. <laughs> uh, right. Ooh, what's this? It's a pipe, obviously. Obviously. Can we have it? Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. Hey, Fluffy McNoob. Hi! <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Can we have this? Looks like this could move the crane. Interesting. Hey, Absolute Zero! <laughs> it's a puppy! Hey! Don't touch that! That's evidence! Uh, evidence, evidence. Okay, I'll just talk to you first. Hi, Stevie! Brian? Who? Oh. No, it's not Brian, it's Stevie. He looks like Brian. But it clearly says Stevie. Brian? I'm, what? I'm not Brian, I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is. Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? Yes. No, no, he has a real mustache, and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait, so am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? <laughs> Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian. We're totally different. He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil make hair dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache. Look at it! Look They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. <laughs> Doll, I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something <laughs> we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Yes. Because that might be a federal offense. Might be. 
you're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm. Please. I don't know. Please. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. Nice. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. <laughs> what do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? Well... You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. We actually do have some money. So, do you want this? Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. Please. What? Oh. How about a sword? Would you care for this level six sword, finest Italian craftsmanship? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Wield it? <laughs> oh, look, a pamphlet. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. The amazing world of bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? <laughs> How was it? They... <laughs> They should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. <laughs> a blanket <laughs> made of money. 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 All right, go on in. Nothing in there but rubble and ash anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Stupid. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. Good point, indeed. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, Stevie. Can we have this now? Handle is missing, though. Ashes and rust. Sounds like Hemingway's book title. Ashes. Sounds like. Okay. Wow, someone really did a number on this place. But Steve, you will be rich. Uh huh. Yeah, you're gonna be a billionaire. Can you believe it? Take it. Oh, that could be the handle. Right? Right? Sure. I'll just confiscate this, obviously. <laughs> Yoink. Um, uh, yep. Doesn't seem to work. Why not? I want it to work. Make it work. Make it work. No? Doesn't seem to work. Ah, sad face. Sword? No time for a sword fight. Although I'd totally win. Totally. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh... What? You know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well, bear. <laughs> Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty old suit. That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark, uh... Color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of you. Yeah, well, this place is dusty. It's dusting up my. You're dusty. Now, let's get to work. God <laughs> damn it. I don't it. feel like standing inside a burned down factory at night for some reason. Hey, Fire Sean Man. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Mayor Rice. <laughs> I wonder if the crane still works. That's a Liber original doll. Germans are sure building them to last. Mm hmm. I believe that. Oh, it's a bucket. Looks like it survived the fire. 
Wonder what's inside. Is it water? Also, can we have it? We need water. What do you voodoo? We can't reach stuff. it from down here. Sure wish we had that magical attic hook with us right now. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that? It served its purpose, I guess. Wouldn't want to make things too easy now. <laughs> Just coming through the fourth wall. Ashes and rust. Sounds like... Okay. I need this. It looks like a wrench of some sort. You know your tools. That's an adjustable wrench. And what are you, a plumber? No. That was kind of taken. Yeah, I want the wrench. Get it. I want it. It's mine now. I'll just take this adjustable wrench with me. Adjustable. That's what I said. Adjustable. Uh, can we use this on the crane now? Doesn't seem to work. No. Hmm. Oh, right. We used the fish bones for the water stuff, so we don't need water. That's it. Great thinking, Crispy. Thank you. Um, okay? That'd be fun, but no. Okay, well, how am I gonna... I'm not, I'm not able to operate it, so... Hmm. Then... Can I use this on this? There! We got our wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. What? Oh, nice. Well then. Is there a brick? Oh, uh, that's a good point. There's lots of debris. Uh, we also still have to go to the mayor's house, so there might be something there. Oh, is this? Nothing. Rain. I don't think there is anything. Hmm. No. We'll, we'll see what the crane does. Maybe there's something in that bucket that we need. Good thinking, guys. Can we use it now? Yes. Awesome. There we go. Good as new. Okay, use it maybe? Seems like it's stuck. We should oil it up. Ah. I can do that. There. Good as new. That's what you said last one. Okay. Woo! Great job, Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? Oh, boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo! Hey, Gava! Hello! <laughs> Exclamation point stare in your face. It's down. Let's look inside. <laughs> Westpaw <laughs> Casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead, doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. Nice, we got matches. Yes. Okay, so... Oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? Buddy? <gasps> no, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. Please, no. Buddy? No! CBG, get me out of here! Oh, sure thing, no. buddy. Let me go get my grappling hook. You're not no. shooting that thing near me! Well, what do you want me to do? Fish you out? That's so funny. I would laugh at my face is frozen stiff. Look out behind you. CBG! Look out behind you, please! Please! No! No! He's, he's, he's alive. Did nobody, nothing happened. Did you see anything happen? I didn't see anything happen. Probably nothing happened. I'm in mood for some cheeseburgers, to be honest. But ask for no pickles. It's not a drive through Ted. Well, not with that attitude. What happened? I missed it. Nothing. Nothing happened. Absolutely 
nothing happened. Just no. Nothing happened. Happy endings. Yoo-hoo. Hello. Hello. Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Uh oh. Uh Oh, I want to do late night pizza delivery so bad. I did not murder anyone. No, 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 no. I didn't. No, 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 no. That was not me. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I I had no choice. I mean. Uh... Oh, this is good. It's the overpriced mansion inspection. Can we come in? Your colleague was here just this morning. Wait, really? Yes. Now leave me alone. It's the middle of the night. Well, I'm stumped. Late night pizza delivery. Enjoy the bite out of our midnight special. Late night pizza? What nonsense is this? We would appreciate it if you didn't bash on our business model, sir. Be gone, you kids. That's rude. Some <laughs> people. We have to save the present again. Preachers, Jen Hammer. You know what? We're gonna try them all. It's the National Security Committee. We need to talk to the mayor. It's urgent. And what is this all about? We need him to save the president's life, man. Hmm. And who is our president? Darn it. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Who is our president? Howard? No, no. His mandate ended last year. No. You're thinking of Mitchell. Am I? Was he the one with the dress? All right. Whatever. Will you let us in? God damn it. Be gone, you kids. Aw. Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> Preachers? Hello there, fellow corrupt official. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Almighty Buck? Absolutely not. Didn't think so. Okay. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh. Better come in, you two. What? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll take it. The fountain is a bit much, though. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, right on, man. I mean, if you have a big, huge mansion, you might as well have a fountain that is huge, right? I mean, why not? There's nothing else I can... Nothing. That was easy. I know, right? Too bad. About the pizza, though, because what? What? Can I? But what? <laughs> okay, I'll just go with this. Hi, Mr. Herbert. It's Mills Butler, Mr. Herbert. <laughs> What's going on here? Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and the rest of the gang? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the Yellow Brick Road. Will you cut it out? <laughs> Hi there. Sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the steel mill fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well... We represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah, it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. Uh, Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you wish, madam. Sir, Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here too. And <sighs> her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. <laughs> wow, that was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? <laughs> Master Mills is expecting you in his office. Oh. Oh, this game. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up the stairs, to your right. Watch your step. Sure. And hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. Just ignore him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, 
beautiful and not even plastic. I prefer the plastic ones, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Easier to keep. No, that is pretty. Slick and elegant sculptures by Pigelangelo. Pigelangelo. That's funny. That is funny, actually. A pigrige vase, the most luxurious of home decors. Okay. This nice art deco piece really ties the room together. Stickers? Oh, I would love stickers. Vote for Mayor Mills stickers. Yeah. Well, still I want them. Hey, Tella! Hello. The mention is funny, everything's funny. The whole game is funny, which makes it Are funny. we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. Yeah, me too. And that's why you want them. It's that easy. It's that easy. Oh, hi. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo. How are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now when life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Mm. Ah, indeed. What? Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Mm. Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. Uh... <clears throat> oh. Oh. I mean, I want to tell Brian let us in, but I don't want to get Brian into trouble. It's funnier though. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Well, we forced her signature, I know, right? <laughs> Well, technically we had the paperwork. No, I don't want to do it. No. Technically we had the paperwork, so... Ugh. Really? We're gonna sell it, Brian? Yeah, okay. That Officer Mitch let us in. Officer Mitch? What side of the city did you come from? South? Yeah. Uh, the officer in charge there is Burke. Brian. Good man. A bit unexperienced. Brian, sure. Good man. Well, to be honest, we kind of scammed our way into the city. Ah, uh, Ted, you rascal. Still, that officer should have known better. It wasn't his fault. We falsified- Um, yeah. What she's saying, only with less incriminating details. <laughs> it wasn't the kid's fault. He was actually very by the book. And yet, here you two are. Eh, whatever the case. I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard about the- Red man? We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. It'll take a lot to stop him, Ted. I've heard what happened to Millie. Such a shame. Poor gal. How did you hear about that? It happened last night. The news travels fast around here, Ted. You know that. Well, that red freak is going to pay for what he's done. I'm going to make sure of that. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. 